There goes Brian, man. He's happy. What a great guy. Dennis from Bradenton, Florida, from Washington State. What's going on, Ohio? He's about to take his Indoraptor to the house. Yes, sir. Great guy. The black with the subtlety in red. I really do like it, y'all. It has a great look to it. Look at it. He's happy, man. Look at it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Real Deal, Why Wiz and Akins. This is another Indoraptor, an amazing one at that. Mr. Brian Harrington from Bradenton, Florida. One of the best customers ever. He hit me up, he was like, Real Deal, I'm sending you my vehicle. Let me know what it's done, let's get it on. And that really was how the conversation went. Uh, a family member brought it up to us and we made it unbelievable. We took the best of both worlds. The Midnight Indoraptor and the Redline Indoraptor, we married them very discreetly. You ready for this? Let's go. And you know it's Indoraptor special if we got the Vince Carter out. When we're rocking this, like it's only been about four times I've wore this bad boy, so you know it's game time when this one comes out. This one's special. And like I got, I got chills because we got Brady Rambo back behind the camera again, rocking his North gear. Brady just had his, I mean, we're not going to lie. He had his best round of BP in his whole life, right? right. I mean, it was the best, y'all. It's like, so we're going to keep on adding to that. Uh, big things coming for Brady, but look how much he's grown, y'all. Y'all remember he's been in the other videos? Look at him. He's, he's getting, getting aged up there, and he's seen a lot of F-150 Everest editions out here. My man in six days, oh my gosh, is going to be 15, y'all. So what do you think? Brady Rambo should drive. Let us know. Mr. Carter, y'all, the legend, just like our Indoraptor. Did you know that just three years ago, we the Indoraptor was born and how far it's came now, us being the number one Raptor dealer in the entire country is truly special. And Mr. Brian Harrington, we appreciate you so much. Can't wait to meet you on Monday. And I also had to break out, you know, we got the LeBron 19s in the red. I like, I feel like I'm walking on clouds. It's an unbelievable shoe to ball in. It's a little bit heavy, you know, kind of like when you run with a mud terrain tire, it's a little on the heavier side. You're sacrificing some things in the accessory package. So it's all about what you great customers want. So Brian has some great input as well on what he wanted. So our great vision and the collaboration for our customers is very important to me. So we did Indoraptor Midnight up front with a complete blackout on this gray grill uh, in, in the Agate Black. It looks amazing, just blacking that out. It looks so much more clean and premium, y'all, doing it that way. There's a vision that we've got going on that is second to none. In the headlights, we blacked out, so essentially the portion around your high beam and low beam is chrome. So we blacked that out and did just red on the Raptor portion and then smoked out your side marker emblem, uh, your amber side marker there, blacked that completely out. And then down here on your front bumper, this is that, that gray color as well, did black. Removed texture here, did black there, and then the red toe hook and this black skid plate. But just a little bit of red up front in the Raptor and the toe hook is just enough to be that hit two face almost. This is a midnight red line in the Raptor. You dig? Up front top here on the heat extractor, did the same thing, removed all that texture. Nothing wrong with keeping the texture, but just the vibe that we want to put off with the, with the midnight and the red line packets. Black this out. Uh, just like its body color, still looks aggressive and did red just on your perimeter there, looking amazing. And then on your heat side heat extractor, both functional heat extractors here, did red just in your fins as I call it, but looking great. And look at all that flake in the agate black on the race red, which doesn't have any flake. And then on this mirror too, this already comes black, but we wanted to do this portion here uh, is called on because that's not premium textured material. But so did that, removed texture and painted to match as well. That looks great. Like my 14 year old is just smiling back here. Like he's like, he's filming dad and we're filming Raptors y'all. Like this is, I'm always happy and it's so legit because I'm truly, I'm always happy. I'm around 
these beautiful creations of ours all the time, y'all. And Real Deal's got a lot more on his mind. Like, I'm way behind because of the inventory shortage. There's a lot more that you're gonna see from Real Deal on the Raptors and the F-150. And we got a lot of Bronco action going on right now, too. So stay tuned. Uh, with a tire combo, you cannot hate, you cannot hate on me, okay, for rocking LeBron's for any reason. I love the shoe, and you cannot hate on Real Deal for rocking the 22. So the 22, on a Raptor, there's so many of the Raptor guys out there that love to love the rock, the rocks at real deal. But the 22 by 10, negative 13, just hits in a different way. You got plenty ample sidewall on 37s. We took this vehicle from a 35 package from the factory and elevated a vehicle that's already amazing, a full performance truck, and made it to a 37 package. Um, our mile to wild scale, let's show them that, bro. In the negative 13 mark, we're sticking out just right. Uh, about two and a half inches. And then on the Toyo Open Country AT3, an all-terrain tire that looks amazing, but has great ride quality and still has a rugged off-road look to it. Now, I don't know if you can see good or not. Bottom perch collar level kit from RPG in black at 1.5 inches. We didn't have to do anything on the rear on this one. A non-37 package, uh, a standard Raptor, 1.5 up front, you can roll with 37s. Uh, it's definitely an equation on your wheel and tire combination, but if you wanna go more than run 30H, do the taller level kit and put a different spacer in the back on your coil spring, as well as if you have a 37 package vehicle, it's a totally different equation there. So if you have questions about how and what will fit on what type of Raptor you have, hit me up in the comments or shoot me a message. Now out back, we have a Retrax Power XR bed cover. So we got a T-slot here for any application you may want to add above the bed cover, but I love the Retrax. The XR does protrude up slightly, about two and a half inches above the, the bed, so keep that in mind. Uh, the non-XR model is, is more sleek and low profile. Um, many applications, Rolling Lock now has uh, a T-slot in some of theirs, so think and consider the Overland style capability that the Raptor and these bed covers bring. Really love that. The third brake light, we did a gate black with a nice paint package there, removing all that white up, up top. Just cleaning everything up, y'all. And then right here, you can tell these tail lights that we love to do with a bigger, wider DRL and blacking out this inner portion and leaving your, your brake light and re reverse light area. We did the side fender flare as well as the rear cladding uh, in black as well. That just looks amazing. This is typically a gray color, so doing all that black makes a big difference. Now out back on this applique, we did a amazing job again on a gate black and then just red on the Raptor and just red on the F-150, just the facing y'all and black on the bumper as well as black or, or, as well as just race red on your tow hook. So step back, Brady, and let's show them a full scope of that rear looking amazing with a just blacked out, but with some red, just a hint of red. This is like Steven Sanchez's F-450 uh, truck, his reserve edition that's got just enough red, just enough to make it hit. Just to give you chills, y'all, you know, just to make you wanna, ooh, that's right. So come on around, Brady, show them this mild to wild scale from the rear as well. Not too aggressive, uh, but not too wild. We're right in that mid-level range, a perfect overall balance. On 22s and 37s, midnight, red line, never been done. On the inside, this is not a 37 package, so you've got standard black seats, with b &O Audio, they're still very bolsterous with Alcantar suede on the inside. Love the steering wheel, the big 12 inch touchscreen, all the amenities. This is a luxury truck. It's a luxury performance truck. It's got everything you could ask for from a luxury standpoint, but everything you can need for from a drivability standpoint as well. Everyone, like this right here is truly amazing. A customer that trusted enough in me and us that he knows that what he sees here online is legit and like, this is not some type of video that's like, I'm trying to sell stuff. When I'm making these videos, I'm not thinking about that, y'all. I'm thinking this is my passion and my dream, and I just wanna show you all. And it definitely brings us great business. You know I'm a heck of a marketer, but that's not the main focus on, on doing all this, y'all. It's because we're documenting greatness. Just like uh, seeing Brady right here with me, this is special, y'all. Like, we're, we're, I'll look back on this down the road and be like, man, Brady, you know, me and Brady's older, we're like, remember when we did all them videos of Aiken's Lot? It's gonna be pretty cool, man. So. Uh, we appreciate y'all staying tuned and trusting in me and keeping up with the two of us and what all the crazy things we got going on here. So, uh, Mr. Harrington, congratulations, sir. Uh, we know it means everything to you and it does to us as well. Peace out.